Okay, so I just stumbled upon this programming language called Mangle, and it's basically like the older data log, but with a bunch of cool extensions. Oh, you're kidding. So it's like an upgrade. What exactly does it add to data log? Totally. It adds features like aggregation and function calls, plus optional type checking. That's wild, right? Wait, how does aggregation fit into the picture? Isn't that a crucial part for querying data? Exactly. Aggregation lets you group data and perform calculations, like you can count the number of vulnerable software projects. Okay, I'm intrigued. Can you give me a sample query that shows how aggregation works in Mangle? Sure. For example, you can define a rule that counts how many projects are affected by outdated Log4j versions. It condenses a lot of data. That's really interesting because it simplifies the complex relationships in data. How does it handle those complex dependencies? Mangle can manage recursive queries, so it can explore data dependencies even if they're layered deep in a project. Wait, that's incredible. Does that mean it can track jars even through multiple dependencies? Yes. Just imagine being able to trace everything a project relies on, even things that aren't immediately visible. Okay, I'm picturing how useful that is for developers. But how does it really compare to SQL? Great question. While SQL is pretty powerful, Mangle's rules can be referenced in other queries, giving it this flexibility that SQL lacks. Right. So it's more modular. That's kind of a game changer for how developers can write their queries. Exactly. And it's open source too, which encourages experimentation. Developers can really dive in and play around. Nice. Open source projects always feel like you're part of a community. What about contributions? They encourage contributions to the documentation and the implementation. It feels very collaborative. I love that. It's like everyone gets a chance to shape the future of the language. But let's backtrack a bit. What is deductive database programming? Oh, good call. It's all about merging data from multiple sources into a single querying framework. Think of it like creating a unified view of your data. That makes sense. So it's not just about writing queries, but also about effective data integration. Exactly. And it allows for more intelligent modeling of knowledge, like representing complex domain knowledge without being limited. Ah, so it's like moving beyond binary relationships? That's pretty profound. Right. It can model n airy relations, too, which opens up so many possibilities for data representation. Wow. I can see how that could add depth to knowledge graphs. Have you checked in on any examples using Mangle? Yes, one example was about connecting travel routes and calculating prices for trips. It handles multi-leg trips elegantly. So, it can calculate total trip costs by considering multiple connections? That's like optimizing travel in real time. Absolutely. Think of it as building a travel planner where it finds the best route dynamically. That gives me chills. It's such a practical application. But what's the catch with some of these extensions? Well, some guarantees like termination are lost when you add those extensions. It's a balancing act. Interesting. So you get this flexibility, but with some risks, I can see how that might complicate things. Exactly. It's about weighing the benefits of flexibility against potential complications in data consistency. Am I getting it right that this flexibility could lead to different outcomes based on how you structure your queries? Yes. The way you write your rules can drastically shape the results. It's both powerful and potentially tricky. So it's really about being sophisticated in how you think about your data queries, right? Yes. It encourages deeper thinking about the relationships in your data rather than just surface-level queries. This really changes how I see data programming. So what's the takeaway for developers? I think it's about embracing a new paradigm. Mangle could redefine how they approach complex data scenarios. Totally. It feels like a gateway to newer, more efficient ways to handle data. Absolutely. I can't help but wonder what new applications might arise from using something like Mangle. And that's the exciting part. The potential for innovation is unlimited when you rethink how to work with data.